Hello, Tracy Sethers Parker here, marketing strategist, coach, and owner of Wordplay PR and Marketing in Grapevine, Texas. And in this episode of Marketing Mojo, I'm getting tactical. I know I usually talk about marketing strategy in these videos, but at some point, you gotta act. So I'm going to start with a question. How many touch points does it take to make a sale today? And by touch point, I mean any interaction or any time that you get in front of a potential customer. So take a guess. This is not a trick question. Uh, six, eight, 12, 21, 36, 48, 100. Well, the correct answer is 21 touch points. And I have to admit, I was a little surprised by that number because when I was in school many, many years ago, I recall being taught that it took eight touch points to convert a prospective client into a buyer. So, you know, why the big jump in number? Well, as you can probably guess, because of the big jump in the number of marketing channels that are available to the buyer today. And as a result, to us on the, the marketing end of it, it has certainly made the customer journey longer and more complicated. So as I was thinking about this, I just started jotting down on a piece of paper the different touch points that I use not only for my agency, but for my clients. And it did not take very long to get to 21. And in fact, I could have kept on going. I mean, I had print advertising, I had direct mail, I had social media, I had social media marketing, I had digital marketing, I had email marketing, I had video, I had the phone. Yes, there are some people who actually still pick up the phone and, and call someone else. So I encourage you to do the same and take a few minutes and just jot down all the touch points that you're currently using in your marketing strategy to get in front of your prospective buyer. Now, am I suggesting that you use 21 different marketing channels? No. What I am telling you with this exercise is that you must select the best channels that will get you in front of your prospective buyer. Number two, you need to implement a consistent message in each of the channels that you use. And then number three, find creative ways to repeat that message. By doing all three of those, this will ensure that you stay top of mind and are positioned as the best choice when your prospective buyer is ready to act. And this, my friends, is the secret sauce to marketing. 